Hi, so this video is uh, question three of the GCSE Mathematics downloadable worksheet on vectors. And you can click on the link below in the description and that will give you, uh, the, you'll be able to have a look at the questions for yourself. Okay, now these questions are a little bit complicated. This is uh, kind of A star territory. So um, I hope this is going to be useful to you and please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. So what they're asking us to do is to find the vector PB in terms of A and B. Well, this is the vector PB. Now, at the moment, we don't know anything about that. We're going to have to go around the houses, and we're going to have to go along PA and then over AB. So if I just write that out, that's going to be vector PB equals vector PA plus vector a, B. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Well, if we look at vector PA, what we know is that this bit here is 2B and this bit here is B. So in other words, the total amount along this is uh, 3B, but it's heading in the southern direction. It's heading down towards you. We want to go in the opposite direction, so it's going to be minus 3B and then we also have vector AB. Well, that's fairly straightforward. That's just simply positive A. OK, so vector PB equals minus 3B plus A. OK, or if you prefer, you can write it a different way, which would be equal to A minus 3B. It probably does look a little bit neater when it's written like that. Um, I hope that's OK for you. On to the next part of the question. This is where it does get a little bit tricky um, and uh, I'll do my best to explain this as, as much as I can within the video but um, what they want us to do is to show that NMC is a straight line. So let's just have a look at that. If we go back to the, um, the picture itself what we're saying is, is that if we had a straight line that went through N, M and C, it would be a straight line like that. OK, well, in order to show that, what we've actually got to say is that vector N, M, so vector N, M and vector M, C will be either the same or a multiple of in order for it to be a straight line. So let's have a look at that again. So we want vector NM and vector MC to be either the same or a multiple of. OK, so the first thing is we need to find vector NM and we also find vector MC and make sure that uh, they are similar to each other. OK, so what I'm suggesting is that we've got NM vector NM equals vector MC and if I put in there or a multiple of. OK, so let's have a look at that. So the first thing is I'm going to look at vector NM. Well, if you refer back to the diagram, what you'll find is that vector NM is equal to vector NP plus vector PM. OK, so NP is fairly straightforward. We've got um, vector B, which we can see from the diagram. And then the other part of it is PM. Well, we know that vector PB, because we worked that out in the previous question, is actually here. And we're also told that M is the midpoint. And because it's the midpoint, it basically means that vector PM must be equal to a half of vector uh, PB, which is minus 3B plus A. OK, and again, I could have written it the other way around like that if I wanted to. OK, so it's now just a case of tidying that up and clarifying. So let's have a look at that. We've got B. Now we've got plus a half, 
times minus 3b. Well, minus times a positive is a minus. That's going to be minus 3 over 2b. I tend to work in fractions quite a bit, uh, but obviously if you wanted to change that to a decimal of 1.5, that's perfectly fine. I've got then plus a half times a, which is plus a half a. And if I tidy that up, I then can work out the vector nm, nm equals a half a minus a half b. Okay, so that's the first thing. And again, you need to refer back to the diagram to check and make sure that you're okay with that. Okay, so the next little bit is I'm going to look at vector mc, because what I'm suggesting is that it must equal it or a multiple of. So vector mc, and that's going to be, and if, again, if we look at the diagram, what we need to do is we need to look at this point here. So I'm going to go from n to c. Well, I don't know anything about that vector, but I do know I can go from m to b, because I know that, and I can go from b to c. Okay, so let's have a look at that one. So mc then is going to be mb plus bc. Okay, well mb, again, we know it's the halfway point as we did in the previous part of it, so over here. Um, so in this particular um, vector is going to be half times minus 3b plus a. And then I've got bc. Well, I know that b is the midpoint, so therefore bc must also be vector a. Okay, again, I need to tidy that up. Well, I've got a minus, sorry, a minus there times a half there is going to be minus 3 over 2b, and that's going to be added to a half a and then plus a. And if you just tidy that up a little bit, what we end up with is 3 over 2a minus 3 over 2b. And you can clearly see here that both are multiples of the vector a minus b. Because this, if I wanted to rewrite it, I could rewrite it as a half a minus b. And this I could write as equal to 3 over 2 a minus b and I would put a line in here somewhere along the bottom to say that um, it is a straight line so therefore m m c is a straight line um, as vector n m and vector m c are both multiples of a minus b. Okay, so that's been quite a long video and I appreciate it's quite a complex question. Um, if you do get uh, any particular uh, questions with it, please do add a comment below. I'll always answer and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.